Hey, Get Fox here. Today we got the Detroit Lions defensive ebook, the long awaited D ebook uh, after the successful Saints ebook that you see everywhere on Ladder. A lot of people are using the Saints in the Saints because it's so powerful, and I think the Detroit Lions is just as powerful on the other side of the ball. Now, if you'd like the written version of this ebook, uh, this video distilled into written form so you can reference it later, subscribe to my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash gutfox. At that, uh, for that, there's going to be some bonus tips in there, how to not get beat over the top at a press cover three, how to get your cloud flats to stay back on crossers. It doesn't it doesn't stop all crossers, but it stops deep corners and a, and a few of the crossers that you'll see, so you won't have to use them. Uh, there's a couple other, you can, it shows you how to A-gap blitz with your user. Uh, those are things that I'm not going to put in the video, but they will be for Twitch subs only. So sub there for those extra tips, plus all the extra written ebook. And in this video, as they patch the game down the road, this video is a stagnant object. So the Twitch document will be updated if something gets patched out of the game. Uh, this video is kind of just, you know, here in time. I'm um, recording it once. So we're going to go through right away. Um, and, and when I show you these blitzes, just know... Like, this is just the blitz. This is getting pressure on. Getting pressure and getting pressure on the quarterback is like half the battle, if that. You know, your user needs to be well. You need to set your coverage, your CPU players, to stop what the offense is doing. So, uh, I'm not going to go through everything you need to stop, guys, because there's so many adjustments for every single thing you see. Like, split close and those tight formations. You want to kind of crowd the line and pressure them up and make them turn into a bad read. Um, and then user and pick it off. You want to kind of take some some uh, some dangerous shots with that at times. You know, high risk, high reward. Don't always play like off coverage because they're going to dot you up all over the field. Anyways, um, so the 3-4 odd. Like I said, I feel like I got patched a little bit. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm missing something um, that I forgot to mention. But I'll mention it through the video. Um, let's go into the first blitz. There's three that I can send stock that are that are pretty darn decent. Um, generally, you want to do this against like two tight ends, two wide receivers. I don't know what would you use. Um, let me do something like that, that. That running back goes out first, then I'll block the running back. We'll do tight end spot. Now this is this is what it looks like. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to leave it stock, and we'll see if it comes home. All right, right there, and oh, it got picked up. So that's unfortunate. It got picked up. Um, so let's try and base align it. There's an issue also with sometimes mutt blitzes do get home and in practice mode sometimes they don't. Um, so just know that before they come home. Sometimes you can flip the blitz and it becomes effective then. All right, so that looper, that loop didn't loop through. Um, that's pretty ineffective pressure. Let me try and flip it away from the running back because the running back seems to go in the hole that my blitz is going in. So let me switch it, loop it off this way uh, because the running back's running right on this play. Let's let's see if this, this loop works. Uh, and yeah, see that loop through? Um, because the running back wasn't like in that hole when he's releasing. So like I said, like Madden is sometimes inconsistent in practice mode to mutt. So some of these things won't, it's not, these blitzes aren't going to get home. Well, the nickel and, and dollar one will get home frequently. Uh, but let's, let's watch this like a, a blocked running back. See if the running back picks him up. Um, so, okay. It did pick it up. It, it did pick it up. So five against six, uh, we did get picked up there. So some, sometimes, you know, just, just a blocked running back. I, I, w I wish it would have came out of the, the um the f formation with it shifted all right let's let's try it again one more time see if this gets picked up um sometimes it matters where your user is see that one didn't get picked up so inconsistent heat it, it gets home sometimes it doesn't it's natural looping pressure um you can you can kind of fiddle with it too if you want but generally it's pretty good on its own there's a couple other here fire zone bluff i'll just do the same play um for fire zone bluff uh we'll do will we'll buck first will buck also works We'll try it here. Um, where was I at? Wing stand. I do. I generally do three, four for like, you know, like I said, two tight ends. All right, we'll do tight end spot again. Send them out there. All right, so this is like a similar blitz, but off the other end. It's basically almost like a mirrored blitz, I guess. This one, so it should get home. And I don't know why the linebacker did that. Maybe, maybe, if, the, maybe if the quarterback drops back a little bit further in the pocket, like if he takes over, if he usually controls this, like this, see there, there that comes home. Maybe it's because I, if he stands absolutely still, maybe he runs into linemen. Like if you push up in the pocket, he, he runs and he, yeah. So he kind of like gets into that alignment. So that's coming off that edge. Um, like I said, inconsistent sometimes. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes, you know, man and blocking is man and blocking. Perfect. See, they're blocking running back. The blocking running back changed the blocking formations. Like you can shift. Like there's no such thing as an, um, well, there's, there's generally not an unblockable blitz. Like unblockable blitzes are like seven man pressures that you can kind of throw hot on. Um, because like but like four five man even six man can mostly all get picked up in this game with the exception of some some dollar blitz that i'll show you uh the three through five is pretty tough but it can get picked up i've seen it picked up uh, all right let's let's move let's keep moving since this is gonna be a long video a lot of blitzes 
And like I said, like the coverage behind it matters so much. Randomly man guys up. Uh, fire zone. Fire zone bluff also works. Let me... Well, let's just try a different play this time. Um, I guess we could try PA blocking if you guys want. PA slot. We'll see if this comes home with PA blocking. Generally, generally blitzes that work on non-PA blocking um, don't work as great. So we could even like... If we pass commit, it's going to make it more effective. But you never know pass committing here. Yeah, that didn't really work at all. Um, let me try. So Pat, w the play action blocking screws up this blitz specifically. Um, let's try it. No play action. Yeah, play action, and he just gets he just gets sucked into the play action. It's a four man pressure sucked into the play action. Uh, we just need sheds at that point. That's so he should be going around the edge there. Let's take off the play action blocking and, and block him normally. Let's see if he goes. Oh no, I shouldn't be using that guy. Um. Anyways. It should loop around, but the play action makes him go straight and weird. So, kind of weird. I'm going to try quarterback contain here. Yeah, this is another play action blocking that screws up a lot of blitzes. Yeah. He's not looping on that play. So, that fire zone bluff, uh, maybe not as good right now. You could probably do some things to um, change it up. Send more pressure, so more men like this. You can always hover in this gap. Hover, Hovering, is it got less effective, uh, but it's still, it's still there. Yeah, he's, he's, he doesn't go through the right gap on the play action. So, play action's that blitz's worst enemy. Uh, all right, so let's back into the 3-4. This is talking about sending heavy pressure. Cross 3 fire. If you play Madden 18, you ran into this blitz. Pretty darn good. We'll go into shotgun this time because they got generally do a little bit. Eh, I don't know. Will players be in shotgun? Will you be in this if players in shotgun? If they're in a spread set, this ain't the greatest because they can kind of dot you up the field. But... Uh, here it is. You, you turn into a cover two. So you blitz all linebackers, turn it into a cover two, and then you use this guy. I like to QB contain two. Uh, spread my linebackers. So that's that's kind of the setup. You switch it to a cover two, and then you got looping linebackers. You're in a six man pressure. There's only five people here. I'll block. I'll block him. I'll block the running back. So here it is. Six man and oh, it got picked up. Got picked up pretty nicely. Uh, but basically, you're trying to overwhelm them. Uh, you're you're. Uh, um. You're going to give them, like, what, two to three seconds in the pocket. So if they can throw hot, they can throw hot. Otherwise, you can, like, man dudes up randomly. Or I guess this is more of a man blitz at this point if you man everybody up. Um, but there's the blitz. Yeah, move him out. Oh, I shouldn't have spread linebackers. I don't want him spread, but there you go. And then you user in here. Watch the running back. We'll say we uh, block the running back. Let's see the looping pressure here. All right, so block shit gets home. We got better stuff. You can you can spread the D line and, and get off the edge a little bit better. All right, so there's that. The crossfire three blitz. That's how you do that. Blitz all linebackers, convert it to a cover two, and then use it this guy. Um, and then you can spread as you want. Otherwise, oh whoops. All right, let's just choose a new play. All right, next up will be the crash blitz. So this one, I feel like these used to be better, but sometimes I just like sending them from the bleachers, like from just like the wide angle, because they don't really see them coming. They see like. What they do is a lot of people like they'll read the middle of the field if they don't if they don't see like anybody coming nor to the, towards the middle of the field. Say they're like, I don't know, stance and go. Say they're looking like that, like they're looking to see if like these guys are blitzing or this guy or something like this. So if these guys aren't coming, and he's like, oh, okay, I generally like to slant towards the blitzing cornerback side to take up more blockers, and then QB contain this side uh, to try and keep him in the pocket. Otherwise, you can like QB spy him if he's still if he's getting outside the pocket. Uh, but there it is like this uh, Just kind of gets home. You get some guys off the edge You try to overwhelm the offensive line to one side Otherwise, we'll do it again this time with the blocking halfback. So we have a check and release on the right and a block on the on the left Let's see if it picks it up and yeah, it picked it up the, the blocking halfback picked this one up. So um, It did it, you know it picked up what you gonna do. That's that's Madden for you. It's it's good that they found some blocks, but basically that's just it's, now that one's not a design blitz. I got better designer blitzes coming. Um, these are kind of the stock ones coming out. The Crossfire 3 was, I guess, a little bit um, from last year. Solo defense. You guys saw me do a video on the Pinch Buck O and the Pinch Mike O. Basically, great solo defenses. That one is uh, show blitz, uh, pinch or spread linebackers, QB contain, pass commit, and shade over the top. So, uh, I don't know if I have to go through that. It's fine as a, a defense like a, against head-to-head -head online. I like it because you can sometimes confuse opponents if you've been running zone a lot of the 3-4. Uh, then you go with that one with that pinch bucko 
and that pinch might go. And you're like, just send the dogs, and it's man coverage. So, like, if they have zone beaters, they sometimes won't beat man with them. Um, unless they're, you know, watching your stream and see you calling pinch might go. But, anyways, uh, that's kind of like a nice change up. Otherwise, a beautiful play here. My go line play, cover four, drop show two. I also run in the middle of the field, too, um, when I just feel like blanketing everything. Near the goal line, I'll blitz my user linebacker, one of those yellow zones. Here, I'll show, I'll show it to you on the field. Um, say... Say we're in a goal line situation. Uh, head back sweep. I don't need to go all the way down. But so here, so say, say this is it. I'll baseline press to get those guys out there. Near the goal line, like I'll shade underneath. Then I'll put these guys like on cloud flat so they can get better at the run support. Um, these guys are fine where they're at. Um, sometimes you could bring them down, bring them into the box maybe. But here's what I do. If they're trying to pass, the, the, I mean it's two-man pressure. You got a QB spy like right here. Hopefully it's JJ Watt if you have him in your spot uh, squad. Like it's power up like I do. Uh, he's like right here picking guys with middles and you're, you're kind of usering, watching guys like either high point or right to the goal line area. Um, so that's kind of where it is. Generally, I like to be the backside linebacker away from power. Um, so like say this guy's here. I like to be this side. So I'll blitz him. Gen because generally they run strong side, right? If you got a balanced formation, they're going to run to their strength because they have more blockers than you have defenders. So basically what you're going to do is take one of these backside linebackers because you can read the play better than the computer. You'll be able to cheat a little bit on this toss. So when you do see that action, that those pulling guards, as we just got a little bit of a glitch there, um, you see that action, that, that toss action, you'll get over there. Um, so here, here's the setup I'd go with. Pinch, baseline. There it is. Uh, maybe they'll do something like this. Hopefully this won't hit the fullback. And then when they snap, you'll get over there. And you'll do, you try to get outside and try to make him cut it back. Whoa, he got, he got phantom tackled again. James kind of stuff to go down. Um, so there, there's that's nice too. Another nice thing I've seen, say, say they're in like a spread set. Um, let's go like, say they're in a spread set like this. Say if you man them up out here. Like you can do man up like this. That's that's pretty decent defense. You could also so you so you got those hard flats out there. You can put those guys in the cloud flats and then move those guys. So you kind of got like double outside if they have like corner routes or something, or, or if they're trying to attack the outside, you're doing pretty good. You could put him in the middle. So you're basically um, cover like blanket coveraging the outside part of the field uh, with three man pass rush. That's a that's a solid change up too. Um, otherwise, the stock cover four does a decent job. Um, shade underneath. Like these cover four corners don't play as well as cover three corners, in my opinion. Like on corner routes, break into them. That for some reason, that, I think that because they coded in cover three logic, without a clear out route, uh, cover three plays a corner route very well. Say it's like a flat and a corner to the sideline. The cover three pat guy will play that really well. But this cover four guy doesn't play it as well, it feels like. So... Just be aware. But otherwise, press cover four is solid. Um, just run defense because you look look at the run fits right here. You got you got nine guys in that run fit. Solid up the middle. Up the middle is gonna be tough to run against this. Outside is a little bit easier because these guys go back at the snap of the ball and they they don't generally block shed very well. Once they're once they're running backwards, they get locked on and, and held on pretty hard. So you really need a a high block shed at that point. But even then, a high block shed is gonna get locked down by a lot of receivers in this game. So that is the cover four drop shot too. That's the three four. That's what I like to run out of that three four. Um, a few blitzes and then uh, that cover four drop shot too. Generally, uh, that's what I'm in if I'm trying to stop things. Otherwise, you know, sometimes you can just come out and base cover three sky, cover Tampa two. This uh, cover two sink is not bad, um, and, and just kind of like do what you do. Play, try and use this stuff. See, kind of feel out your opponent. All right, so three four under a couple of. Better blitzes here. Let's go here. Oh shoot, I needed to flip this play. Um darn 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 darn. I wanted to flip it. Alright, let's let's flip it on the field, see how it does. See how it does. Alright. QB contaminant and the uh, QB spy. Here's this one. Similar looping action there. He didn't loop much at all. He got kind of held up a little bit. But this loops a little bit better than the three four odd normal. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's not it's not a great loop naturally. So we'll watch it this side. Uh, actually, he's on a check and release. That might screw things up. Yeah, it did. 
We got home pretty quick because his, his line shifted blocking responsibilities. But yeah, the check and release definitely screwed it up. All right, so let's just, let's see it naturally. QB spy with this. Oh, wait, he's, yeah. There you go. Yeah, just gets funky. That's uh, Mike Scrape 3, huh? Let me come out with a naturally flipped. 3-4 under. Who played Madden? Was it Madden 16 when this was amazing before they patched it? There it is. Mike Scrape 3 press. In the in the ebook, there's the tool of how not to get beat with the press. Let's do doubles. Um, Z-spot. All right, so QB contain, and then you can put him on a spy. So it's a four-man pass rush. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oops. Motion. Auto motion, huh? And eh, picked up. That was picked up. That was unfortunate. Picked up. Is what it is. Auto motion picked it up. Did I do that right? Uh, QB contain. Him in a QB spy. Yeah, sometimes it depends also on the stats of the, uh, the, uh, the guy blitzing too. How fast is what is high pursuit? High pursuit is generally the best. Let's see what we got here. All right, it, that got picked up pretty well too. All right, so sometimes it comes through, sometimes it gets picked up. Dang, that's too bad. Uh, what I like about this 3-4 under, I liked a lot of its blitzes pre-patch. It definitely got, this definitely got hit hard with the, this, this formation got hit hard with the nerf hammer. I had a pretty, I had a pretty, pretty wicked one on FS slant three. Uh, I, I finally got pretty good at that after using that for a while. I tried a bunch of other ones. There's some, there's some solid ones. The crossfire can work, um, but I like engage eight just because, just send the house, man. Sometimes you just gotta send seven or eight at them. Show them who's boss. See if they can make a quick read. If they can make a quick read, good for them. But sometimes if you're playing coverage, do not be afraid to blitz this game. I, I see a lot of mistakes. People just sitting back in coverage the whole game. Seriously, just send heat. You need it at least a couple times a game. Third, third, medium, third, and long. Just send the dogs after them. Make them make a mistake. Because a lot of players can't handle pressure. Uh, but, all right. Moving on to 4-3. Uh, but, yeah. The 3 fours. my blitzes. I had a lot of blitz in 3-4. They got that. Uh, it's devastating to lose that one. All right. Fire zone 2 and wheel blitz 3. Set up pretty similarly. Uh, this one's just against, well, I don't know, Trey, yeah, we'll try this. So all you have to do generally is crash and shift your D-line. There it is. You're overloading one side of the line. That's all it is. You can give, you can go here for a little bit of extra support, but otherwise just see what it does. They shift, they shift. Oh, dude just died. Dude just like, dude just got hit by a sniper, man. Somebody got with the bleachers. There it is. There's the blitz. Let's watch it again. So, somebody's going to get home. You're just overloading them. Five-man pressure, five-man protection, overload. It can be picked up. Like I said, every blitz in this game can be picked up. That's why I don't recommend running the same blitzes over. But you're sending five guys and hopefully you have good pass rushers. So, eventually, yeah. They'll just they'll overwhelm a running back when they get picked up. There it is. You can run the same thing out of cover two, like I said, with the fire zone, uh, fire zone two. So that's what I kind of like in that that overload out of that four three over. Um, I, I, the best blitz is in the nickel, so let's we'll keep running through this. The four three under will go fire three. Uh, let's see, because generally I notice when people come out like two receivers, two running back or two running backs, but basically two receiver sets, so two tight ends or two running backs. Um, they want to run the ball, it feels like. So, setting up exotic blitzes is generally against the game plan that I kind of want to go to. Because, guy, except for split close guys, which I'll just send the dogs at. Um, if they're coming out like single back, under center, two tight ends, two, uh, two running backs. Like, they're trying to run the ball. And setting up those blitzes with like contains and shifting guys around. You're making your run defense worse. And I think run defense, just, it... it, it took a step up in need after the patch because the patch i think made run defense a lot better all right so trey y flex again just because it is our uh defense or it is what a lot of people run all right so this one i guess i didn't need a baseline they were already baselined all right shift left crash down and then qb spy this son of a gun oh and then take this guy put him right here 
Give him the old hover hand. And then, yeah. So it shifted off. The, the wrong guy looped through. This is another looping blitz. All right. So shift left, crash down. Kiwi spy. You're sending a whole bunch. Basically, you're leaving leaving that right tackle on a lark. Huh. That one actually got picked up. I wonder if it's because I don't have a high pursuit rating. If that's why the blitzes aren't getting picked up. Hover over the tackle. Yeah, nice. It's getting picked up. Maybe, maybe he's not fast enough to get into the hole. I sense pain. I don't know. Whatever it is. Oh, that's, no. He's definitely fast enough. What am I talking about? I wonder why this loop is. Maybe he's... I saw one video where I said they can't be too fast. I don't know about that, but... Let's hover the guard. I said tackle, though. Weird. Yeah, it's definitely tackle, not guard. But lots of blitz that generally gets home. Mm, shift left, crash down. Give this bad boy a hover. Yeah. Yeah, shifting responsibilities on the offensive line, let him get through. But that's that 4 3 under. We'll go fire three. Um, next one is the Mike Sam crash press. Is this, yeah, 4 3 under? Sorry. Mike Sam crash press. All right, and formation. Dagger, fake screen. Oh, fake screen wheel's not bad. Not many, many people run anymore. All right, baseline, QB contain. All right. But that's not the guy I wanted. All right. QB contain, and then QB spy him. There you go. So it's a similar thing, other side of the line. And not, not through at all. Dang, these blitzes are not doing so well for me right now. wonder what happened. I wonder if it's the formation. Gun trade Y flex maybe is just a great pickup. I don't see why it would be, though. That makes no sense at all. Baseline, QB contain. QB spy. Low left tackle. Weird, that's doing really well. Anyways. Huh. Maybe that's more for... Uh, under center stuff? Man, my, my computer needs to stop doing that. Under. That is weird how it's not coming home. Mike Sam crash press. Wing stack. Under center stuff. Spot stick. Left of screen. And then hover. Kind of got picked up, kind of got home, didn't it? Maybe I, maybe I was hovering too long before. Maybe that's my issue. QB contain. QB spy. Get off right at the snap of ball, so don't hover very long. There you go. Picked up. Titan's on check and release, though, isn't he? All right, get him off the check and release. Base align, QB contain. QB spy. And make sure to get off the. There you go. That's better. It's a single back killer, huh? Much better. I was, I think, so inconsistent, right? QB contain. QB spy. Get off, like hover here for like even just like a half second. They snap it and then run back and get you to the. Oh, picked up. Baseline QB contain. Did QB contain that player? So not. Uh, whatever. Anyways, that's the blitz. Let's get to the better. Let's get to the better formations for blitzing. All right. Well, at least I hope. Jesus, this is not going well for me. It's probably the worst showing I've seen in an ebook. Buck slant show two. I've been told this is gonna be stock. I've run this in game stock, and like I've run these things in game and they've worked. I I don't know. Practice mode, right? All right. Buck slant shows two. This says I can run it stock. This is he, he's kind of spread out because it's trip. It's trips. Getting him closer is fine. I kind of like him. A little closer there, gets home a little bit better. Um, and a little looping blitz. There you go. So make sure that end. I, I like him closer. Like let's show let's well, let's let's watch what he's doing from a far ways away. So he just comes in free far ways away. 
So they see that, they'll be like, well, I'm just going to block a running back and move him across. And this could, and then, then they'll, they, they might even ID your, your, uh, your cornerback, but it doesn't even need to matter. So they can pick up that blitz by blocking a running back. We'll get some better ones. Might be a little tougher on that. We'll try, we'll try and QB contain this one. See if they can, uh, the running back recognizes it better or not. And yeah, running back recognized it. Got a block shit to get home. So yeah, QB contains a little bit worse, but pretty good. All right, so next one. This one I, I, I did test this overload three seam too. I've tested all these things and I'm not gonna run it because my notes even say it's not as consistent as the Buck Slant Show too. So just run Buck Slant Show too. Over the three seams there, just, just if you want to you know, change things up, it still can be pretty effective. What I like about the nickel formation though, uh, what's really nice, this this Tampa 2 here, I kind of like this quite a bit. So let's go, say they go into that population right by flex. All right, so close wide corner. Baseline, pinchy line. I had an opponent run this on me and I was like, God dang, it's, it's hard to deal with. Uh, you don't need to actually pinch their linebackers. But blitz your linebackers, use this guy, and this just gets home pretty pretty nicely. I mean, it's six against five, so it should get home, as as it didn't get home very effectively because my guy tripped. But it kind of like overwhelms dudes. Baseline, pinch D line, crash them in, blitz all linebackers. I like this guy right here. QB contain. I like that's not bad at all. We'll even block the running back. So, picked up. Jeez. Well. You're sending heat. You're sending heat, man. Uh, yeah. So, let's try one more time. Let me make sure I got my over the guard, over the guard. It says to move them over the guards here. Let's move them over the guard. And then, uh, let's see how it handles. Yeah, you got home, but the other guy got picked up, which is unfortunate. He shouldn't be picked up. Try this. Oops. Yeah. Running back didn't block. Oh, this is uh, concerning because offensive lines never play this well for me in game. But whatever. Um, I also show how to use your a gap in this in this formation in the in the notes. I'm not gonna show it here. All right. Uh, so those are the nickel blitzes. Normal. I like nickel as like a change of pace. If somebody's beat me in another formation, kind of go there, test it out. Mid blitz, obviously, for the solo D is beautiful. Just run mid blitz, um, pa pass, commit, shade over the top. Um, you can use a stock or go with QB contains. User the uh, safety assigned to the running back. And if the running back's blocking, you can either use the middle like a madman or blitz and try and hit that quarterback. Um, both your choices. This next one is nickel overload three. Um, uh, let's try Trey Y Flex again. Maybe Trey Flex just has great pass blocking. Maybe that's maybe that's my issue. So it's just you're just kind of overloading one side of the line. So use this guy, and you're sending you're sending more heat than they can handle. You hopefully it's it's like the Vikings D, just confuse them with double A gaps. So they don't know if you're in zone or if you're in man here. If if you've been running a lot of mid blitz on them, and you're just yeah you're just out there making plays, taking names. Uh, I show I show a, a ebook specific defense. Uh, based off the the cover three not getting beat over top so i'm not going to go through that but basically mid blitz this blitz and then like mix in coverages and stuff um into those blitzes are good stuff uh, we're still getting to we're still getting to the best part about this the three three five wide um i don't run this a lot but basically might blitz o is run um as a normal um i guess defense it's this is like madden 17 all over again so what what you do in this is you uh, put these guys out to the sideline. So basically, you won't be beat over the top, except, well, I mean, they, they might have Tyreek Hill, but you're on like an off man. So you might not get beat over the top. Tyreek Hill could potentially do it. On like a straight, like outward, uh, outward angle, out route, but uh, like a double move would beat you over the top too. But you don't want to do this every single play, but it's not bad because if they have outbreaking routes or crossers, you really have to look at it. You have to wait for them to stop over the middle and deep, deep post is what you have to stop. But otherwise, they're going to cross right into those uh, curl flat zones. So it's going to be like 
you throw it, everything's kind of covered. A's kind of covered. B, you know, now it's now when they reroute and stuff, you have man coverage on them. Like they might get a, they might get something like that. Yeah, that looks good. So your three man, pa your three man passers might not get home. They might not know they need to bump the, uh, take those guys deep. Otherwise, you know, you still you can you can always send it right. Ooh, was we trip? If they send anybody out, still have man blitz coming. But otherwise, that's like a man seventeen D where you cover the sidelines and you go like a, a cover zero basically. Um, it's it, in seventeen. It was better. Wait, wait a few months till we get some top end corners that can play some really good man, like a Deion Sanders. You can match up against Tyreek, like match him by speed. Then you'll be a better. All right, into the into the glitchy stuff. Let's get into it. Three three five odd first. This is if I want pressure. This is it. If it doesn't matter what they're in, linebacker cross three show two. Um, I perfected it today on stream. Let me see if they got the right notes here. Um, flipped. We'll see. All right. Levels wide corner. You flip it. I want to flip it. It's better coming off this way. Blitz him. You can put him out there. Spread your spread your D-line. QB contain. And there you go. Yeah, you can use this middle guy or you can use it out here. It really depends on the formation. Then you can like cross man dudes. Stuff like that. Do just random things. So there you go. Um, here it is getting home. That one's that one's the glitchiest one I got. Well, this no dollar DB fire is good too. Do that spread D line. I like to move uh, every single every single every single play. You got You should move your deep safety into the box. It's just better. Ooh, you got home. Yeah, this this block is pretty ferocious. Man, I like I like it. I, I wish this blocking was like all the time. Um, so yeah, there you go. QB contain, no QB contain. We'll try it next time with no QB contain. I can show it to you. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't spread my D line. If you don't spread your D line, you can't get fucked. Um, so spread your D line for sure. Spread D line. Let's try it with no QB contain this time. And it comes home pretty good too. So that's really that's really the blitz. It's super hard to block. Um, just. From my experience online, generally I want to take out the man matching concepts, so I shade down, I shade up. All right, let's uh, block him. So move him to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, we'll see if this will work. And go. Got the loop, got the pressure. Yeah, they picked it up. They picked it up with that kind of uh, stuff. But they block. They had to block a lot of people to pick it up. Um, so that's pretty good pressure. Five man pressure. That's one of the best ones in the game. You can obviously send more. Um, user him. Send him if you want even. Um, the, the, this, this guy over here. So yeah, you can always heat him up a little bit more than you than you think. Just make him make a decision quick. Make them think that they got you, then you get them before they got you back. Better get got than... Like, get risky with it. There you go. Just completely send everything at him. Send the dogs! Alright, so that's that. 55 odd. Uh, my first setup was the best one, though. So, blitz him. I like to keep you contained. Move him in a little bit. Use your hammer. Put him out there. There you go. Pretty pretty simple. Uh, blitz. Oh, yeah, spread your D-line. Did I say spread your D-line? Yeah, spread D-line. In the notes, it says spread your D-line. Yeah, mixed coverages for sure. So sometimes leave that three right. That three right hooks a very good zone. So I like leaving that on. You can use the deep safety if you feel uh, gutsy. Otherwise, a flat route, flat, or the middle of the field. All right, so that is that. Next one is is okay. Um, my Sam similar action. Sam Mike press. So I don't know why you'd run this over the better one. I really don't. But uh, crash your line down, QB contain, and then you can back them off if you don't have my tip to how to stop that. Yeah, see that got picked up. See that? Shit. Don't run that one. Run the cross show too. Much better. All right, this next formation. I want to go to dime here. 
Now, Dime doesn't have the greatest of blitzes. It's got some good stuff. You can send some guys off the edge, send some pressure there, like, you know, like a Dime flat type pressure. But what I like about Dime is this play right double buzz. Three double buzz. I like this play a lot. Three double sky ain't bad either. Pressure off the edge. Guy filled the middle. A little zone blitz. But three double buds. What's really cool about this, um, say if they're running like crosses or something, it works. It does a pretty good job of cross manning. So, Church on Brown. You and Schuster. You can, I don't know, man him up there or just leave him in his flat zone. There you go. So, this guy goes back. You can use it in the flat zones. You can use it this deep guy, and then if they cross the field with if they don't if they don't have Hunter on a streak, you just cross with him. I don't know. Use it this deep use it this deep middle. You can use your safety, so you can use a lot of things. But basically, it's a great formation because stock here's his stock. Uh, you got two guys in a hook curl in your safeties, and they're really nice there uh, for for the cross manning purposes. So you can you can even like cross man him and him. It's like the old old school man. So. It helps, it helps to stop crossers. They're not perfect. Make sure you got high man coverage speed, guys. Like, like Sean Taylor doesn't have high man coverage. So he'll get burned. Tyreek against him. Not really fair. All right, so that's just, that's just used for cross manning. I like that a lot, though. Uh, that, that's why I use that, dollar, uh, that dime. Dollar. Oh, dollar, dollar, dollar. You are beautiful, dollar. Uh, DB Fire 2. Uh, why, why do we love DB Fire 2 so much? I don't know. I, I, I think somebody at EA runs this as they're like every down defense. Uh, there's a way to get not, to not get like, um, weak box, bring your safeties down to within seven yards of the line of scrimmage. Um, generally like right here, here is about where you want to go at, uh, max width to stay in the box. So here I'm at like what, set six yards, five yards. He's moving up on his own weirdly. So at five yards of depth, their toes are on the five yard line. So now I have a strong box, as they call it. Uh, they got me down by the wharf. Uh, I got a strong box here. You can put them in a put put one of your middle linebackers in deep blue. Usually the other one. Um, generally, I like to go like off the edge here. Like so, it's like blitzing off the edge. What's great about this is you can man them up too. There you go. Try and confuse them up. You can you can either send the blitz or man on both sides. Send a three man blitz. Or man of none, send more. Send like both linebackers, user him. Send four guys. I don't know. So you can do a lot of things. Dollar's great because it's so adjustable. It's um, symmetrical. It's got some issues with base lining and stuff. But like watch it just play out. Um, see? It's just glitchy. Like that that contain on the dollar. You can get something similar to 335 normal too. But like it's just these contains are just absolutely glitchy, dude. It's kind of sick. Even here, you can send these guys, cross man, do stuff like this. But, like, we'll block the running back. Let's see, five-man five, five man pressure against six-man. Oh, it got picked up. Nice work. But, uh, generally, that's, it's, it's, it gets home pretty glitchy. Oh, you want to spread your D-line, too. Did I mention that? I didn't mention that. I should have spread my D-line. I was, some, I got to look at my notes always to remember. All right. Otherwise, bring them down in the box. Like I say, every play helps you not get weak boxed when they have only two wide receivers out there. And uh, there you go. Let's see it in action. Ooh, pretty. Very pretty. Look like this guy out here. This guy to the right didn't get that much, that good of action out there. Move him out a little bit. Just kind of just, you know, play around, fiddle. Get your fiddle sticks going. Move your safeties down to the blocks. It helps you against passes like post routes and stuff. And block the running back. See what we got. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right. And picked up. Oh, it was picked up pretty good there. He escaped one of my tackles. That's Ben Bed Roethlisberger. Uh, then you just use her, use her frantically. What's what's the thing about him is that he isn't a human opponent. A human opponent might drop back a little bit more than than the computer has him. So they might not. Uh, so they might, it might be easier to get at him. From those contains all right next one on a dollar also beautiful one another crossfire blitz so there's a couple ways of blitz there's in like obviously there's there's the a gap nano that i have in the ebook um that i'm not going to show here but this crossfire three press um you can flip it depending on who you want to send stock is usually best so 
Um, well, either way or best, but the guy going from right to left on this formation or left to right when I flip it, that's the best way to send it. I don't know why, but it gets through more consistently. All right, so let's go back to your good old favorite. Trade right flex. And uh, yeah, levels wide corner. All right, so space line. So this Smith is going to come home. The one cheating over there with Hayden. You can move Hayden in. You don't really have to move him too much. Bring this guy down the box because you want your cover three in the box. All right, then you use her in here. Flats, cross man. You know, do you diddy, diddy dumb, diddy do. I don't know, something like that. And then, uh, yeah, send it. It just, yeah, it gets glitchy. This one, I don't think you need the, the QB contain on. Yeah, you don't need the QB contain on. I like to get him closer. He doesn't need to be. He doesn't need to be like super close. But if you use a jack, you can do whatever you want. Ooh, it picked it up. Well, that's weird. I don't need to spread my D line, do I? Base a line. Oh, let's base line it. Duh. That's an easier. That's an easier way of doing it. Baseline, blitz out the screen CB. Yeah, all right, let's try this. Wow, picked up. Is Trey Y Flex just good pass coverage? Because I've tried this against other sets, and man, it just flies in. Hmm, just weird. Yeah. So, get glitchy with the QB contain blitz. Uh, the last one is Strong Eagle Slant 3. And this one isn't as good as the last two. But, like, in-game, in those things just those things just rock your opponents. Um, so I, guess, I tried the other side, but it didn't work as well. So, you can flip it if you want it the other way. Trade by Flex is the bomb. Um, spread D-line. Let's try, like, right here. Oh, God, bad pursuit angle. He had, an, he had an open hole to run through to the quarterback, but he decided to cut it short. That's what you get for taking shortcuts in life. Jack. Yeah. It ain't great. So, those are the blitzes. It didn't look great on tape, I will say. Um, they do better online, but yeah. Practice mode was kind of mean to me today. It is what it is. Hope you guys liked it. Those are the blitzes out of the Lions like I talked about with uh, coverage. I feel like I'm, I feel like I missed something. Like it's, like if you want the written documents, subscribe to me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash gutfox. Um, I should have said this up top, but like if you didn't understand any of this and you need a base terminology for Madden knowledge, definitely check out the skills trainer. Um, that's important. But that's it. Uh, I adjust to what my off what the offense is showing me. And you kind of get things with time. Um, so just practice. If you get, if you can, can even get beat, just keep working on it. Like one game, go ahead, uh, play some weekend league. Because that record doesn't carry over. Uh, those are some top end players. They'll know how to pick up your blitzes. Some of them harder than others. Those dollars and 3-3-5 odds. Really tough blitzes. Uh, but that's it. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.